The Nairobi River is a tributary of River Athi that flows into the Indian Ocean. Its serenity has been celebrated by the city dwellers, with the biodiversity enjoying the freshwater river that flows through the capital city, Nairobi. Over the years, the river has been exposed to pollution through overflowing sewers, industrial waste, human waste, and collected garbage and petrol chemicals. This has resulted to the spread of waterborne diseases, loss of biodiversity, reduced availability of safe water for both domestic and industrial use. The government of Kenya, in collaboration with development partners, private sectors and the civil society, embarked on a project aimed at rehabilitating, restoring and sustaining the ecosystem. A project implemented by the late Minister for Environment, Honorable John Mishuki, saw the river transformed from a heavily polluted ecosystem to a river basin that provided improved livelihoods, enhanced environment quality and values through well-regulated economic and recreational ventures. However, the Nairobi River Rehabilitation Program has stalled over the years, resulting to its deterioration, causing the taxpayer questions on the viability of the project. The Vision 2030 aims to have a green city in the sun. The question, however, remains, if the taxpayer's money is not utilized in the right way, is this dream viable? <laughs>